on my tombstone. I got where I could put on my tombstone. I just realized it. I deserve all the pain I can get from all the things I've done. So in my last days, it's going to be a painful death, I know it will be. But that's the way it goes, I guess. I think the biggest mistake we, I ever made was ignoring my children and they didn't come back. I sent money or I said I did things, I wanted to see them, but yet I never, uh, I can never really get back to times I've lost, so I try to do better as I go on. I'm having a relationship with my sons now, which I should have probably a relationship with them 20 years ago. Now I lost my son two months ago, and it's the most painful thing I've ever had to live with. Not an option. Excuse me, you lost my son. Oh, my son. Twenty-two. Oh, that's too young. My friend uh, Steve Kramer's son died in a bike accident. He's racing oh, I know at Steve Kramer. Yeah, and uh, gave his son all the all the vital parts to to seven people. And uh, it kind of like relieved them. That that's an awesome gift to be able to give somebody. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't able to do that after yeah. my son. Oh, your son was already over. My son died of drug overdose. Oh, children are both. Yeah, his brother just died of drug overdose. When I, when, even when I was in the club, I somehow I picked a, a night just to go to a movie. So I made friends with all the people who run the movie theaters. Because it's the only way, it's the only way to get away from everything, you know? It's a, it, it's a, it's a psychological thing, you know? It's a psych. What happened was, all my years of fighting, you know, uh, marriage, having kids hang out. Believe me, I did wrong. I was bad, and I did wrong. My children should have been taken care of better than what I was taking care of. That's why the mothers were always mad at me. Yeah, and that, that's that's the truth, honest to this. And every time now, being is all uh, why I survived this long. Maybe to tell the stories, stories of Big Red, and Rusty, and me. And all the guys that we used to run together. You know, Big Father Joe, he became a priest. That was a funny one. Father Joe, I'll never forget him. They come in, comes in, here's a summons for an arm band. Well, you know, I'm eating. You know, so I says, get out of here. And the chicken on the bone took off, he hit him right in the chest. He falls back like someone shot him. His <laughs> and, and they both like fell down. It was like, you know. So they jumped me to arrest me. And, and be his arms around me and I'm taking my hand and going like this. And he's going, help, he's getting away. 